When I think about the Connectional Conference Plan, I think what it does well is it creates clarity. It, it says um, you can step into one of three spaces on the question of LGBTQ inclusion. And each space would have its own book of discipline um, that would be similar, mostly similar, but would also have that uniqueness around inclusion issues. The, the downside of that is that in order for that plan to be approved, it has to change the Constitution in five important areas. To change the United Methodist Constitution, you have to have a two-thirds vote of the General Conference delegates and an aggregate two-thirds vote of all annual conferences around the globe. That is a very high bar, and some have written that that seems almost impossible. Um, I also think it, it, it would take apart the structure, the current board and agency, and, and really the connectional structure in many ways of the United Methodist Church. I think that's its intention because it's, it's hard to support all that financially when you're in these three separate spaces. So that's, um, in my mind, that's why it's, it's not a plan that I, I would support. Um, the traditional plan creates the greatest clarity of all. And it creates uniformity of practice. Now, I personally believe that you can have unity without uniformity. And uniformity means we do the exact same thing in every setting, no matter what. But in this instance, that uniformity is only created around the issues related to whether we will ordain self-avowed practicing gay persons and whether we will um, offer same-sex marriages and whether bishops will ordain um, clergy persons who are gay. And so I think that while it does that, and it offers uh, an exit path, the, the bishops who wrote it apparently are really comfortable with um, United Methodists who feel that, they, that this will impinge their conscience stepping out of the United Methodist Church, and it tries to create a, spa a path where they will have um, pension coverage um, that West Path could perhaps help them, and they would be connected to the United Methodist Church in some other ways. Um, I think that it really is, though, it is an exit path. It is saying to people, if you can't get on board, you need to step out. And it creates um, very high levels of accountability for bishops, for clergy, and for annual conferences who are not in agreement to uniformity of practice. So um, while it has great clarity, it also has, the re that comes with it. But of course, if you want great clarity around these issues, I would also add, you probably have to do that. You probably have to create a high system of um, penalties and what would happen if you violate the uniformity of practice.